Hello and welcome to World of Warships with Montrala. Today we have a tier 9 battle, it's uh, tier 9 to tier 7 battle and I'm top tier in premium Italian destroyer Paolo Emilio, better known as the Yolo Emilio. This is a research bureau ship actually for me it's my first one and it was recently added to the game and most people see power emilio as a one trick pony so the ship that is used to basically yolo battleship so she has a exhaust smoke she has a very strong engine boost, short range, but very, very hard hitting torpedoes. So basically what is expected to be done with Paolo Emilio is to locate a battleship, come to the edge of detection, engage smoke, engage uh, engine boost close to the um, basically direct distance of less than three sometimes less than two kilometers send the torpedoes kill and rinse and repeat uh, up to five or six times but in practice it's not that easy uh, it's not easy to push into the battleship that is skating away it's not easy to push the, the battleship that has hydro it's not easy to push the battleship if they are radar cruisers or hydro cruisers so Paolo Emilio is a quite situational in this this matter that's why I didn't build my strictly into men build for maximum speed in in smoke but I mean build it as a more like classic destroyer with <coughs> uh, putting uh, the build more into gunpower than anything else because the torpedoes uh, are used in specific way so there is no need to build into into torpedoes uh, actually it's not a finished build I have only 16 points captain on this so there is still st some skills to be mastered so on the start on this game I moved to this flank with some open water looking for some opportunities to yellow some battleship but the tear pits with hydro is a not good idea for me and Francesco Caracciolo is near mains and going into the mains is not also best thing for me so so far I'm just rising back and forth looking for opportunity and decided that I will support my Asashio with guns especially that we have some very suspicious looking smoke screen here that probably is hiding enemy Kitakase oh we have a first kill our Ryan detonated enemy shores and I will I'm thinking about the uh, doing some blind fi blind fire into the smoke but I want this to be done without being detected so I waited for mines to leave my detection range okay and I can see Kitakaze shooting there and I actually managed to have a hit and actually 1000 HP damage the guns in Paolo Emilio are not very 
fast reloading, they not have huge DPM, but they surely have a nice alpha damage with SAP ammunition. So I'm sitting, shooting at this Kitakaze and spotting her at the same time, but I also don't want to be focused by the several enemy ships. That's why I moved outside of detection and I want to reverse now to have an additional shots on this on this Kitakaze but unfortunately looks like my Asashio didn't win this fight but Mogami took away Kitakaze so I have a friendly ships that will take this capture point and I decided that I will try to move towards capture point Bravo but what I actually noticed is the situation on capture point Charlie there is our Ostrakotland there Fiji Lion and the enemy is pushing into the cap they have Nisa now they had Ipuki that was called by Ostrigotland and they have Musashi there and this looks like a perfect opportunity for Yolo Emilio because neither Musashi not Nisa now has Hydro they have no cruiser support, cruiser support at the moment so I decided to relocate to the other side of the map and try to support my team on the seaside, especially that our Fiji is very low on health and I think that the lion will not enjoy direct exchange of fire with Musashi that can basically overmatch lion at every angle. Oh, especially what I especially want to do is to remove Musashi from game because she's a very dangerous ship for my cruisers and my battleships and I see that the Gneiss now is pushing forward my Astrogotland is I know that it's not like it's pronounced but I checked the Swedish pronouncement and it's completely unspeakable for me so I will stick with Ostrogotland to deal with it so my Ostrogotland were trying to creep toward the Musashi but now returns toward Gneisenau oh, I'm thinking about going towards the Musashi but I want <coughs> to go as close as possible but Gneisa now is in the way so oh, I don't want to be spotted prematurely so I'm hiding here in the channel for the moment I was thinking about maybe moving on the other side and try to go towards the Sinop but there is a Shurei there and actually Gneisa now decided to kite away and move from this so I'm closing towards my prey towards the Musashi so now it's time for me to smoke up put up my boost all they were seeing was a smoke now I'm detected by Gneiser now but not for long Gneiser now went down and now Musashi sees fast moving smoke angry looking smoke cloud moving to her and I want to have a good torpedo hits so that's why I waited a bit with sending my torpedoes and I can see basically Musashi can do anything and this this basically is what Yolo Emilio is built for 
Oh, I'm turning away not to get spotted by Sorei. And now my consumables, my smoke and my engine boost are on basically two minute cooldowns. I'm praising Scotland because this destroyer player was holding basically this flank alone and spoiler alert actually the Oster Gotland will be the most valuable player on our team and I also increased the karma well I decided to open the fire on sure I'm enough away to not be very easy target besides most of these ships are busy shooting someone else and I managed to pick my third kill I'm on almost 110,000 HP damage but most of it of course was done on on the Musashi so now I'm opening up on mines but actually it's a bit risky because mines is a huge DPM cruiser and can do a lot of harm and also Gotland landed some torpedoes and there was a flare of activated talent so uh, she's probably running Jerzy Świerski as a captain okay so Tirpitz went down Mines and Karachul are left there is basically no opportunity for any more yellowing so I'm um, just do some gunboating. Actually, I don't like mind shooting me that much, so I use my smoke and my boost to move away. I took away mines, and this basically is how this match, how this battle will end. So we did almost 120,000 damage, most of it during my YOLO. I killed four ships, uh, eight torpedo hits, three floods, devastating strike. So that was quite nice battle nice yolo but as you can see it's not easy to get a situation that allows to use Paolo Emilio gimmicks and stay alive so I ended starting my team as you can see Oster Gotland had a great game and if you can see how my damage spreads so basically uh, all of my damage almost 10,000 was on the Musashi and Naisa now 70,000 on the Musashi some 7,000 on mines three and a half thousand on Surrey and I had a nice 10,000 damage on Kitakaza and also manage a bit on Tirpitz so I hope you liked to watch how I tried to find opportunity to use my Yolo Emilio. This actually was only my sixth game in in Yolo Emilio, so I'm just now learning this ship. So if you liked it, please like. If you didn't dislike, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to to have some more and new subscribers. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.